good morning from Caracas. We are going to leave Caracas for the second time, but now we are going to El Oriente, so the east side of the country. Our first destination is Caucagua, and we changed something on the bicycle because, yeah, you remember that I had, yeah, like the paper box for Chimo uh, to bring Chimo from La Pastora to Trujillo, and in Trujillo I bought a fruit crate. But yeah, Chimo grew a lot, uh, so therefore I had to invest in like a bigger and more comfy uh, way to travel for him. And now we have this trailer. Uh, so yeah, a trailer in which he can sit really comfortable on the road. Uh, he can sleep there and he can move in the, in the trailer as well. Chimo knows that we are going to leave, so he uh, barks a bit. Uh, he's not happy, of course, because yeah, we stayed here uh, for quite some time in Caracas, so it almost felt like his home, I think. Uh, but yeah, we are going to cycle now uh, to the center of Caracas, then we have to pass by Petare, uh, then we are going to Guatire, and then we are going to Caucagua. Uh, in Caucagua, I can stay in someone's place, like a sort of shop, where I can set up my tent. Um, and yeah, after that, uh, yeah, we are going to continue the journey. So tonight we are just going to sleep. Yeah, so let's go. Uh, let's leave Caracas and we are seeing each other on the road of the city of Caracas. <laughs> yeah, so it's nine o'clock right now. We have to cycle for around 88 kilometers to Caucagua. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to be hard to cycle to uh, Caucagua because yeah, my application, my navigation uh, doesn't like show me the elevation of the route. Um, and of course I have a lot more extra kilos which I need to take with me. Because yeah, I have a trailer, uh, I have uh, Timo who is also much bigger than uh, yeah, when I le left San Cristobal. So yeah, let's see. Uh, but yeah, the temperature is good, it's not too hot. And yeah, hopefully uh, we are going to have a lot of new adventures and I'm going to share this whole route again with you. just arrived in Petare. I think we have to cycle for 30 minutes through Petare. Really busy on the streets always. A lot of people, uh, but not the best place to cycle of course. So yeah, let's put the camera away. Let's cycle a bit fast. And then uh, hopefully we are on the road uh, then yeah, to Caucagua. Oh. The heat is insane. We still need to cycle 10 kilometers. The road was really not interesting to, uh, to film uh, because yeah, just a straight road. Uh, the views don't really change, uh, but we almost made it. But I am now resting because yeah, the sun is like crazy. It's like 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, so yeah, I will stay here for like five, 10 minutes. And then I'm going to continue to Caucagua. Uh, luckily, we finally reached uh, Caucagua. Uh, but we are cycling on the highway from Caracas to Guarenas. That's the closest big city to Caracas. That was like a really dangerous tunnel. Um, yeah, really crazy to cycle there. But yeah, sometimes yeah, you have to pass really dangerous roads to get somewhere and yeah here it's a bit more quiet still a lot of trucks but I can cycle on the side of the road so that's good <sighs> so le let's rest a bit let's eat some really boring uh, cookies and then uh, hopefully we have some energy uh, to cycle the final uh, 10 kilometers Llegado. Esta es la entrada del pueblo. Ah, sí. ¿Cómo se llama este, este, este lugar? Este es el monumento de la parranda de los boleros, de los santos inocentes. Los santos inocentes. Ajá. 
de Ball of Enter. De Kaukau. De Kaukau. Ah, ik heb daar alleen een Ah. En toen naar Sista in Kaukau? In Kaukau. Ah, oké. Okay. Al mijn municipio Acevedo. Cuno de los bandas y parandas. Yeah, so this is the this is the entrance of Kaukagua. Yeah, I can stay in like the shop or business of Jose. Uh, he has a shower. I really need that because I'm dead. There's a lot of life on the streets in the city of Kaukagua. Uh, but I think it's not really touristy because everyone is looking at me. SOS to casa. Oh, to negocio. Esta. Hola. Mucho gusto. Roger. Ah, to Eres Familia de José. Tia. Ah, Tia. Yeah, so this is the place where we are going to stay tonight. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a shower. Drink a lot of water. And then we are going to eat something because I'm also really hungry. Uh, looks like a really nice city. A lot of restaurants, a lot of shops. Uh, so let's see. But first the shower. So we are fresh again. Uh, a really good cold shower. Uh, that was really good. Later on when we get back I will also show you the shower and those kind of things in his business. And what he... Uh, what he sells, uh, but now we are go. Nosotros vamos con tu moto a donde? A conocer pueblo. A conocer Caucagua. Ah, bueno. So together we are going to explore Caucagua on his moto, Suzuki. Y tú no vives aquí, sí? Pero tú vives en Colombia. No, aquí en Venezuela. Ah, sí. Pero tú vas a trabajar en Colombia. Y después volver. Yeah, because he has like a shop uh, where he sells like bicycle parts, moto, moto parts. Uh, but yeah, because of the economy of Venezuela, it's really difficult to sell and to make money with that. Uh, so that's the reason he... Uh, yeah, that's the reason he goes to Colombia, to Pereira, to work in like a mechanic shop. Um, and now we are going to explore the city of Caucagua. Uh, the most, yeah, the city which doesn't receive too high touristas aquí? Muy poco, muy poco, muy poco. Primera vez holandés aquí. Primera vez holandés. Vamos. Yeah, so it's around 6 in the evening. Uh, so we have uh, still have some time to explore the city by daylight. Casco, ah, the cacao. Uh, here you can buy a Yeah, so I also know Jose because I know a Dutch guy in Caracas, Sander, who has like a chocolate shop and he buys a lot of cacao in Palo Vento. Uh, and today we are going to promote the city of Caucasus. Yeah. Tu conoces mucha gente aquí. Ah, los jóvenes. Aquí los jóvenes están tomando. Hoy fiesta de fin de año del, del colegio, del liceo, mm -hmm. de la preparatoria. Y están celebrando que, ah, celebrando que, que, gradu que se graduaron. Ah, ok, ok. Aquí hay mucha gente con color negro. De color oscuro porque oscuro. son los nativos de aquí, de Barlovento. La mayoría son de color oscuro. Ah, ok. Y por eso la Hablaste. plaza tiene los... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? El, el monumento la de monumento. los santos inocentes son negros. Ah, lo he buscando, no lo no encuentro. Oh. Mira, ver, ah, 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 Esos son tus amigos. Pero los uh, santos inocentes, ¿qué es? ¿Qué es eso? Bueno, los días 27 y 28 de diciembre son un par de días festivos. Perdón. Los días 27 y 28 de diciembre son un par de días festivos para la población de Caucagua. Eso tiene sus raíces en la época de la colonia, donde hace más de 200 años vinieron aquí 
esclavizados, traídos desde África, y se le otorgó el día libre, uh -huh. el día 28, a partir ah. de las 12 de la noche de ese día, ellos le tocaron licencia para que hicieran lo que le viniera en gana, ¿no? Pudieran hacer todo. So now we are going to hear some really local music from Calcagua. Yeah, so this is on the 27th and the 28th of December. El 28. Ciao, ciao. So we are going to leave uh, the bar. We drank one beer. Because the people uh, in Venezuela like to drink beer. So yeah, the tour of Calcagua continues. So there's the bus terminal. Mucha gente en la calle aquí. Hoy había una marcha política. Marcha política. Ah. Por eso hay mucha gente. Ah, de los chavistas. Sí. Ah. Yeah, so we are now in the neighborhood of Cosé and this is the house of his family. Um, and he is going to give me a tour through his neighborhood. Y Cosé, ¿cómo se llama esta zona, barrio? No, está en Casco de Caucagua. Casco de Caucagua. Ah, ok, ok. Esta es la zona central. Ah, y eso es tu sobrina. Sobrina. Ah, mucho gusto. Saluda, Hola. Saluda a Leisa, saluda. Mucho gusto, Roger. ¿Cómo está? Hola. Mucho gusto. Esta es la alcaldía. Ah, alcaldía, este edificio. Bueno, la alcaldía antigua, la alcaldía nueva es aquella. A la izquierda. El otro edificio que es. So this is Plaza Bolívar en Caucagua. Y eso es por eventos. Sí. Eventos, uh, el 27 y 28 de diciembre. And of course, yeah, every city plaza Bolívar, but of course we also have a statue of Simon Bolívar. Um, and yeah, behind the statue we have the church of Caucagua, because the majority of the people here is Christian, uh, so that's the reason. Uh, yeah, the church also has a central place in Caucagua. Aquí en Caucagua, o sea, de lo, del 100% de los habitantes que tenemos en el municipio, el 80% son maestros, policías, son trabajadores públicos en general. Y por eso la economía es un poco lenta. Del resto, el, un, una pequeña parte de la población son agricultores con el cacao y con las verduras. Tú eres presidente de... de la Cámara de los Comerciantes de, de Caucao. ¿Y cuántos hay muchas empresas eh, aquí? Como yo? 300. Yeah, so we are back in the shop of José. Uh, so yeah, because of the economy of Venezuela, as I told, uh, he cannot sell like the bike parts uh, and the bicycle parts anymore. Uh, that doesn't make money for him. So what he is doing, he's selling water. So he's buying the water for 50 cents for 20 liter, and he sells it for one dollar. Uh, but yeah, that's not enough for him yeah, to make enough money. So that's also the reason why he yeah, goes to Colombia to make some more money to work as a mechanic. And here we have like the really small kittens. Hola. Uh, so yeah, we parked the bicycle here and this is also the place where I'm going to sleep tonight. Uh, so what I will do, I will put my like mattress here uh, to sleep um, and then tomorrow morning uh, we are going to leave early to Higarote at around 7 in the morning because the heat was insane today. For Chimo it's really bad and I already said it in other videos that I want to leave in the future more early uh, but yeah sometimes uh, yeah i'm too slow in the morning uh, but tomorrow we have to leave early we only have to cycle around 60 kilometers um, yeah so a bit less than today but let's check how chimo is because we are with the moto hello 
see. So now we can learn to be alone a bit. So this is where Timo is right now. Let me show you uh, the bathroom. Uh, so he has a bathroom in his uh, store. And yeah, they always have water, so that's really nice. Cold water, but that's exactly what I needed. Okay, so we are now in the house of Cossé. Uh, and Cossé is not 100% Venezuelan. Tu no eres 100% Venezolana, si? Sí? No, mi cara y mi cara Venezolana. Ah, uh, y que, que país en... Que otra país? Eh, no, mi papá era Palestino. Palestino. So here we have a picture of Jose. Y ella? Mi hermano. Hermano. So Venezuela is a really mixed country with Europeans, Arabs, Chinese people. So yeah, it's like a mix of a lot of different cultures and people. So the food just arrived. We have some chicken, some cheese, some aguacate, avocado, some butter and really good arepas. So Jose and I are going to enjoy uh, the dinner uh, and it's cooked by uh, La Madre de Jose. Tu cocinas, to see? Ah, bueno, perfecto. So we are going to enjoy the dinner. After that, we see each other again in the shop of Jose. So we are back in the shop of Jose and he is preparing my bed because this is the first time I'm going to sleep in a hammock. It must be really comfy. I met a guy in Mexico and he sleeps like the whole time in uh, hammocks and for me that was really strange because yeah, in the Netherlands people sleep in a bed. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> Okay, okay. Como así. <laughs> De medio lado. Como eso? Así, los pies aquí y la cabeza aquí. Ah. ah. <laughs> no, es... <laughs> Poquito más fuerte. Tomorrow we are going to leave Caucagua at 7 in the morning. But tomorrow we are going to Higuerote. So hopefully, yeah, you enjoyed uh, the first video in which yeah we left Caracas yeah, for the second time and we are going to see each other in a new video in Higuerote. <laughs>